Okay, so um, I've got a new task here. <clears throat> Basically, when I um, drop a file into uh, JSBin, it's supposed to give me uh, an error. Now, in, Fire, in Chrome, um, I've been developing this feature, um, and I can't work out what's wrong with it. So I'm intending to use Firefox's 3D view to understand where the element is in the 3D view. So um, you know, use the right top of the job, right? So um, I need to set a breakpoint, and then I need to switch to the 3D view. So my intention is to set a breakpoint um, and Once the code's paused, the element will be in the DOM, and um, <clears throat> at that point, I should be able to switch to the, the 3D view and see why it hasn't appeared yet. Um, so I'm going to set the breakpoint just here, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to drag and drop a file. Uh, there we go. It's that guy. And nothing happened. Right. Uh, okay, I'm just going to pause to make sure that I haven't got anything funky about drag and drop. So, uh, drag and drop does work in Firefox. Uh, I just tested it with the H15 demos that I have. Um, so there's something wrong with my my code. So maybe we'll be de debugging a few issues. So I'm. This is how I I develop. Basically, I've got a bug. Um, I'm in the browser, I want to understand why it's going wrong. So, uh, console, there you go, cursor position is null. Um, it'd be really useful if, um, is there any way of showing errors on this thing? Because I'm in the debugger, and I had no clue that it was an error. Uh, I was expecting it to break, right? But, lo and behold, we have a, an error. I suppose what we... Must have causing exceptions. Okay, maybe that will help. Let's try again. Okay, cool. Right, we've paused on this exception. Okay, so that is null. Okay, let's do var. No, we can't edit that, can we? Uh, right, sort file, asset drop. A bit like acid drop. Okay, so uh, what line am I? 40, 44. See, again, I'm used to jumping straight into the code. Okay. Um, I've disabled the uh, the multi uh, the multi CPU stuff that get I basically got prompted when I open Firefox um, for the first time if I want to make use of the multi CPU E ten S or whatever it was called. So I was like, yeah, I'll volunteer some information if that helps. Um, didn't realize that actually broke loads of stuff. So, um, oh man, right, okay, okay, so we've. Blown up again. I didn't write the code right, did I? There you go. Right. Let's play. Refresh. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I'm hit refresh here. What am I looking for? The hell am I? No. We just scroll down? Yeah, we scroll down quite a bit. Okay. All right, that looks better. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Okay. So right, okay. That has what I expected to have. Let's look at the DOM. Okay, so there is an element here that is hidden. Um, so I want to go to Firefox's 3D view. Now, how do I get that 3D view? Okay. Oh. Hmm. 
right, this is what I suspect. Somewhere in that stack is the guy I'm interested in. Was that zooming? Okay. Okay, so we're paused at the moment, and I should be able to do. Can I get to the line that we're paused on? No. Okay. What I want to do is inspect this element. So. Where's my little, if I just do watch expression, loading, should get, yeah, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, that. That reckons that is that DOM node. Can I, oh, I'll try and zoom out. There you go. A little bit sluggish, but I, I realize I'm screencasting at the same time as doing. Oh, okay, stop, stop. Are there any? Are there any manual controls for doing this? Okay, zoom back in again. No, that's not in. Come on. There you go. Very, very touchy. Me or the code, the uh, the three D view. Oh, uh, all right. Let's turn off the three D view. Oh, that's right. Cool. Okay. So that reckons that's right there. Margin top. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. So why didn't I see that in the 3D view? Should I be able to see that in the 3D view? I don't really know what the line was, but... And that doesn't update the 3D view. I suppose you're taking a capture a screenshot at that point or something. Anyway, okay, I found what I was looking for. Um, so that's cool. Um, the 3D view didn't really help me um, in this particular case. I know that it's, it, I've found it useful in the past. Um, I, I wonder if, well, some controls would have helped me. Um, but otherwise, pretty useful. Okay, cool. Um, although, why didn't that... Did the style not stick? Let's try that again. Let me just make sure that actually did what it was supposed to. Why is that vanishing so quickly? Oh, we paused, okay. We'll go back to inspect. Where is that element? these widgets sitting on top of each other. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting, uh, that's why. Aha, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, cool, so that's just a, that's a user error. Um, can I select the after? No, I can't, can I see that, is that an option? Spectre, um, no, 
Okay. Um, all right. So I just on the server, I need to be sending about the right the right code for that. Uh, I need to tweak the HTML a little bit, um, but otherwise, I think it is doing what I expect it to do. Um, we can't uncomment that. Okay. Cool. All right. Useful stuff. Um, hopefully, you can see how I was using the uh, console and debugger. Um, uh, like I said, yeah, it might be used to me some kind of visual feedback that there's an error on the page somewhere, but I guess that's kind of like the old days of, uh, of IE when uh, you get that kind of like that little warning down at the bottom. Um, but at the same time, I guess I had this this turned off to deny the uh, um, pause and exceptions. So.